Okay. Hi, I'm back. Oh my, God, my hair looks crazy, so sorry. Um, today, we are going to be doing my ratings of 2023 fashion. Should be interesting. Um, I just like tried to like do my little setup. Um, I tried to, I basically made my own little tier on Canva. Um, so if it looks kind of ratchet, I'm so sorry. Um, Canva's great. If you don't use Canva, get on that shit. But yeah, let's get into the trends. So the first one is Barbie core. I listen. As a child, I never actually really played with like Barbies. It was more of like American Girl dolls, other toys. I just my sister was a Barbie girl. I like wasn't. So like I don't really have a nostalgic connection as much as other people do. And I also I used to wear pink like all the fucking time as a child and to the point like you know when you eat a certain food f like way too much and you're just like I can't even look at it that's kind of how I feel with pink it's just like a little bit difficult for me so personally it was just like I would eh, not a fan oh my god wait sorry I did not introduce <laughs> the categories <laughs> let's do that my categories are the top tier, bury me in this. So basically, very self-explanatory. Um, I would like to, my dead body, would I would love to be accompanied by these items. That's morbid, but you know what I mean? For life. These, are, these items are for life, in my opinion, just for me. So that's top tier. Next one is underrated as fuck. Yeah, basically these are underrated. I think they're great. Other people have mixed opinions. I think they're great. So that's where they're going. The next one is worth the hype. Uh, this is like middle tier. So I think it's not that it's underrated and it's not that it's terrible. It's worth it. It's, it's good. It's mediocre. It's not great. It's worth the hype. Okay, so this is like not the most creative, but I think it's, I think it fits. So uh, the next category is if there's nothing else available, which I think encapsulates the tier below. It's like worth the hype. Like it's like slightly below. You know what I mean? Okay. Anyway, I'm sorry. These could have been better, but um, okay. So then the the bottom tier, the the bottom of the bottom, is like actually makes me angry. Makes me upset. I hate it. Um, I don't hate a lot of things. But these things are things that I hate. So yeah, those are the categories. Let's get into it. So Barbie core, I, for me, see, the wheels are turning, sorry. So definitely not worth the hype. I think it's lower than that. I don't even know if I would wear it if there was nothing else available, but I guess it doesn't make me angry, so I'm gonna put it in if there's nothing else available. That's that's where that's going. Next one is Sambas. Now, listen, this sounds so basic and like I've just been influenced, but to be fair, I bought Sambas, I mentioned this in my last video, I bought Sambas before they like actually like blew up and were like fucking everywhere like they were but when i bought them they were all over pinterest and like the online girlies were like sambas are fun but so i don't again i don't want to be like i liked them before they were cool but like i don't think i was like overly influenced to buy them anyway bury me with my sambas i don't i don't give a shit i also they're not underrated they're highly rated so bury me in my sambas okay the next one is low-rise pants or low-rise jeans i this one i might have been influenced <laughs> to begin liking 
but I think like now that I have explored that world of low rise pants and I like own a couple well actually most of my pants now are low rise I I love it I think I don't know I think it's just good it's so much more comfortable like I just I love comfort and also in the winter time if I'm wearing long pants in a, like a sweater I just want to be comfortable like I don't why would I wear uncomfortable high-rise pants if I'm wearing a sweater that's gonna cover them do you know what I mean okay so yeah I think hmm that's tough because no I think bury me I think bury me in my lowest pants because I that's how I feel at the moment if that maybe that will change but wow this is spicy so far two in the fucking bury me okay um next is sheer sheer lace so tops dresses skirts of the sheer sheer lace variety I like it I think it's like it was like trendy last year or like the past couple years I guess but like it's lace you know what I'm saying like I I think it's good I think it's worth the hype I think that makes sense for that like I do love it but it's also like it is hyped up so I I don't think like don't bury me I don't we're gonna say how worth the hype that makes I'm so indecisive but that's what we're going with also I'm blind if you see me like squinting that's because I'm I literally can't see okay next bows and ribbons uh, I think I think kind of similar to the lace I'm, f I'm feeling I'm feeling not indifferent but they're fine they're cute they're cool are they like revolutionary no like it's ribbon you know what I mean I I feel like I've been a fan of like hair accessories or I guess they're more than hair accessories now they're kind of like literally on everything yeah I'm gonna say I'm gonna say worth the hype like they're good but I don't think they're like underrated next jorts no sorry oh i have two lace that's my issue i this is already a mess okay jorts i i like jorts which i don't think it's a surprise given that i love like the the how do you say <laughs> like gayness of them the queerness of them such so so a fan like jorts and like the fucking carabiner like i'm sold you know what i mean um so i'm gonna say they're underrated because i do think i'm gonna say they're underrated that's that's what i'm going with because i love them are they like really weird and like low-key ugly yes but that's why i like them the underwear like underwear slash boxer as pants i think these are like kind of distinct from each other so i grouped them together which maybe was like not the best idea but i, I this is what i have on my list so sorry the boxers as pants i'm a fan of love boxers wear boxers to bed already own them you know what i mean so like i was a fan especially with, with like boots like cowboy boots or like just taller boots love it so cute and the underwear is like a little bit more bold i still like it but it's like, it's just a little bit, I don't know if I would wear that out, you know what I mean? Unless I was like in New York and it was like New Year's or something. So I'm gonna put them at more the hype. I'm not like obsessed, but like it was a vibe, you know what I mean? Um, okay, so the next one's Fry Boots, which is kind of specific, but I also generally was like kind of referring to that style of boot, like the Fry Boots or like the Buckle Boots especially with like the little sock coming out you know what i mean um i love these i think they're a vibe it's like just fun especially with like like i was saying like fry boots and boxers i mean hello like that's epic or little skirts or little dresses i think they're just cute like it's like almost the cowboy but like not cowboy does that make sense <laughs> it's like the cowboy boot but it's not like western if that makes sense they kind of are but like not I don't know i like them i'm gonna say underrated because i feel like they're popular online but like i haven't really seen them out as much okay so the next one is quiet luxury 
If you watched my last video, you know that I hate this trend. I more hate the the concept rather than the actual clothes. So, but I I just it makes me angry. So I'm putting it there. Do I actually hate the like the look? I don't hate it. It's like fine. You're wearing simple, like tailored pieces, whatever, go off. I don't, honestly, I'm not even gonna really wear that because I'm a college student, but like go off, have fun. But like the quiet luxury of that, disgusting, absolutely not. All right, the next one I didn't really know was a thing until I started like really looking into like making sure I kind of encapsulated all of the trends of this year. And I wasn't even really aware of this. So maybe that means that I'm not gonna have a good take on them, but the next one are the mischief like red boots. And when I like learned about what they were, I was like, oh, that's like sick. Like that's really cool. It's like basically an art piece that you can wear. Mischief has a brand creating that, cool. The way they like blew up like reminded me of the like that like green dress from TikTok that like every single person bought. This is hard because they don't make me angry. Okay, I'm just, for the fact that they're like an art piece, I'm going to put them in if there's nothing else available because that that makes sense to me. They they don't make me angry because they're cool. I just people took it too far. Oh, the next one. Denim maxi skirt. Now, I have the one that I wear is like technically on a maxi skirt, I guess. It's like more of a midi midi skirt or whatever. Um, but I like love these. I love denim in general, and like a long denim maxi skirt just works. It just like works. I'm I love it. I'm going to go, oh, that's hard. Mm, I feel like I wear it a lot. I'm gonna go with Bury Me because I love them. Like it's it's denim, it's a staple. I putting it in Bury Me in this because I love it. The next one is ballet flats. Now, I think there's some nuance to like tease out here. So with this, I was thinking more of the actual like flat flats because I don't mind the like ballet flats. They're like a little kitten heel. They're like you know, have like a little block heel. That's fine. Those are cute. You're doing something, whatever. They're just like plain, like thin ass ballet flats. Give me some flashbacks to begin like childhood. And I just don't, I don't know if I can move past those. I'm going to go if there's nothing else available. I don't, they're not despicable, but I would rather them have like a heel or something else going on. The next one is um, off the shoulder tops. Now, I don't really own any of these. Um, they were trending like a while ago. I feel like I haven't seen them like super recently, um, but they're not, I mean, they're fine. They can be cute. I'm gonna go with worth the hype because like, I like them. They're fine. I don't own, I don't like have the burning desire to go buy one, but like they're, they're okay. Like they're fine. I put this as a trend, but I don't really- it's not even really a fashion trend, it was more of just like a trend in the- in the culture, you know? Uh, which was the clean girl aesthetic. I kind of thought this was more like 2021, 2022, but I don't know. We're gonna go with it anyway. I- the way that I interpreted this as clothing may, might not be like everyone's interpretation, but I- what I thought of with this was like the- like sweatsuit or like the like athleisure adjacent with like uggs and that vibe <laughs> if that makes sense that was crazy <laughs> um but yeah so clean girl aesthetic it's going in if there's nothing else available like am i upset no do i like sort of wear that to class sometimes because it's like fucking cold in Syracuse and I just want to wear sweats. Yes. Okay, next is the color red. And I love, I love, I think I mentioned this in the last video as well, but the color red slays. Love it so much. But like a deep, like rich red is so good. Like it's so good. Like that with denim, that with like 
like that in a bag oh i love it mm, i'm gonna say underrated because i don't know if it's like that much of a staple for me like i don't really own much of it yet so i feel like that's ingenuine to say like bear me in it so i'm gonna go with underrated next one is corp core again i am a college student am i gonna be wearing like blazers out and about no so for like a working woman maybe this is like great because you can just like wear the clothes you had to buy for work and you know on an everyday basis but for me not into it i just it feels basically the same as quiet luxury like i i'm good i'm going if there's nothing else available because i don't hate like it doesn't make me angry i love that quiet luxury is the only one that makes me angry that's really funny to me okay we'll get there don't worry there there will be more the next one is the like rosette choker things again i feel like this was like low-key a while ago like this was like early 2020 i feel like um not as much like recently but these like blew up like i on pinterest i searched this and there was like a million results like there was so many pins of these chokers i i just don't like them you know like i some creator on here was mentioning that like if it's a black like little rosette choker and you like dress it up like all like black gothy grungy it kind of works because that's like it's like part of it but like other than that i just don't i'm just not a fan like i just don't like them i don't know i it's just not my style not my vibe do they make me angry not really it's like not even really a necessary thing that i'd put on my body so like if nothing else if nothing else is available it doesn't really even make sense so i'm gonna put it in it makes me angry even though it's like not entirely true the next one is mary janes i like mary janes i actually like was gonna get the like doc martin ones um but i already had loafers i already had docs i was like you don't need another leather shoe like you're fine um but i do like them like i have considered buying them so i think i think mary janes are underrated because i think they're really cute and I feel like, like, I mean, I guess people talk about them, but, like, they're just kind of, like, there. And they're chilling. And I think they're cute. So I'm gonna go with, especially, like, colors. Like, I found a bunch of pins of, like, colored Mary Janes, and I think those are also so fun. So I'm gonna put them in underrated, because I think they're fun. This is so ratchet. Like, nothing lines up. Just bear with me. The next one um, is pendant necklaces. Listen, I... There's also, like, some clarification. For me just one pendant necklace okay sure like it looks like you went to like a little beach shop and found like a little whatever now you're wearing it cool go off i for me i love like the layered chunky necklaces like the pendants but like the ones like you stack them and then it's a whole like situation my ass is asleep <laughs> oh my god hold please my ass is asleep what was I saying? Oh yeah. So pendant necklaces, I like when they're like stacked. Um, so I like them, but I do like them styled in, in a specific way more. But I do like them still, so I'm gonna say worth the hype. Alright, so the next one is um, asymmetrical tops. I like these. I think they're cute. They definitely like had their moment this year. Um... I like them. I think they're fun. Something different. They're fine. I would say worth the hype again. Um, okay, so also with that was also asymmetrical, like, skirts. These, I... I like them. For some reason on me, I, like, wasn't a huge fan. So I'm gonna put them one lower, um, if there's anything... Um, if nothing else is available. Because... I don't- I'm not obsessed. Like, eh. They're- they're okay. Um, okay. The next one I, like, had a really hard time finding pictures for. So, if there's, like, only a few examples, I'm sorry. I couldn't really find. It was, like, the thing was more of, like, a celebrity, like, paparazzi thing, and I, for whatever reason, like, couldn't find pictures. Um, but it was, like, an exposed bra. I know Olivia Rodrigo had it in her album cover, obviously. 
um and there was a bunch of other celebrities that we like saw out on the streets with this i first of all don't really wear bras and especially in the winter time i will be wearing a tank top under whatever unless it's like actually a tighter top and then i'm probably not wearing a bra so i don't not really for me but like i think it's fun like if you're gonna wear a bra show it off i love that go off i'm gonna go i'm gonna go worth the hype because like it's fine it's cute like go off you know what i mean okay next one is sports jerseys i this is where i feel like i'm just being so biased but again i <sighs> there's just some associations with like me in like fifth grade playing soccer that i just like i don't know if i could wear a jersey like out and about i don't know like the idea of me like getting on an outfit with like a jersey and then like going to order coffee or something like I, it just I, it's just not gonna happen i'm gonna put it in it makes me angry like just i let the soccer players wear their wear their gear and like let's just stay out of it you know what i'm saying i guess that's really contradictory because i'm literally i'm saying that i would like bury me in my sambas but okay we're gonna go on a little shoe rapid fire shoe segment um uggs you already know how i feel about uggs the only thing about this is that as like a 40 year old woman will i be wearing uggs i mean like probably like to the grocery store or something you know what i mean i'm gonna say bury me in my uggs because to be honest i was kind of part of that um the generation that wore them in like elementary middle school i guess but i still like them i don't care there's certain things like capris i can't do like it just flashbacks uggs i i'm a fan crocs it makes me angry i know more explanation needed like I, why why especially like the platform or like the ones with the heel like why i please stop the only acceptable situation where i feel like it's not weird to wear crocs is like my sister swims like she's on the swim team and so she'll wear like crocs to swim practice that is fine they're waterproof whatever that makes sense go off other than that don't wear crocs what the fuck are you doing like socks and crocs absolutely it, i'm getting heated can you tell i'm getting heated i can't do it that's a no from me love i like literally can't see what i'm doing <laughs> next um this is like very specific again but the offshoot of the ballet flats they're like the puma like lace up looking things i like don't know how i feel about these i feel like they're not atrocious but i also don't know if i would ever actually wear them because i don't know i just feel like they're not not completely my vibe i'm gonna say if there's nothing else available that's what we're going with so the next one is um like sequin and or metallic i don't mind sequin metallic is a little bit different for me i feel like metallic is a little bit lower so maybe i shouldn't mer shouldn't have merged these but they're kind of like i don't know they kind of exist in the same place in my brain sequins the only one that i i was looking on pinterest the only like thing that was kind of calling out to me was the like sparkly tights moment i think that was kind of fun very like holiday i don't know that was that was sick i've been watching too much hollow mode if you don't know who that is go look it up he's he's great sequins they don't make me angry if there's nothing else available that's the only i yeah metallic i'm more i guess i don't hate metallic but it's more on that in line with that all right lastly this is so so embarrassing and i like hate that i'm about to admit how i feel about this trend um but i guess it's not that surprising the, the last trend that i saw some someone again if i can find the creator i'll like credit them but i saw some refer to this trend as this and like kind of put all the pieces together and i was like holy shit you're so right and i have been partaking in that so hardcore and that is coastal cowboy or cowgirl whatever i love my cowboy boots i'm gonna wear my cowboy cowboy boots with literally anything that i can 
Um, I just, it's fun. Like, I like pretending to be a conservative bitch. It's kind of enjoyable. Cowboy boots and like a little dress, are you kidding? Like, it's just fun. It's, I just like it. So I'm gonna put that in bury me. <laughs> oh god. Wait, I hate that, but I don't care. Bury me in my fucking coastal cowgirl fits. I don't care. Uh, yeah, bury me in that shit. I love my cowboy boots. I actually do need to get new ones soon because I wore them in the pouring rain in Venice and ruined them. Like, they are, like, falling apart. So, yeah, I kind of need new ones, but I love them so much. And I wore them a shit ton, like, on vacation this summer. So, yeah, that's my tier list. She's sexy, um and ratchet but yeah i this was fun if you guys want to see more videos that are silly goofy um let me know what you want to see